you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katerina and I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today's video is going to be another spring makeup tutorial, just kind of a golden bronze neutral lid with a pop of color on the lower lash line, bronze everything else, and then a nudie pink lid. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So first I'm just gonna start with some foundation. This is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. So I have been self tanning, so as you probably noticed, this foundation is just a tad lighter, maybe a couple of shades. So since it is getting closer to this, well now it actually is spring, while we're getting into spring and summer, it probably is time to go a couple of shades darker. And while that's kind of just setting into the skin, I'm going to start working on my eyes, and then we're going to go in with concealer, all that good stuff afterwards. So I'm first going to use this City Color Cosmetics Shadow Primer, um, just to create a nice even base, and it's also going to help make sure that our shadows don't crease and they're going to last all day. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm really going to focus on this Lorac Summer Glow Palette. I just really, really love these shades in here. I'm going to do more of like a neutral on the top area right here, and then I'm going to add a pop of color on the lower lash line. I first kind of want to set this eye base and just create a really nice blank color. So I'm going to use this kind of peachish, vanilla shade and a flat shader brush, and just going to pop that all over my lid. I'm going to bring that all the way up to my brow bone as well. So next I'm going to take a big fluffy blending brush, just like this guy right here, and I'm going to go in with this kind of taupey color, this end one right here. It's kind of like a mid-tone taupey brown, and this is going to be our transition shade. So just doing windshield wiper motions and a little bit circular motions on the outer corner, I'm just going to blend this in right above where my crease area is. Next, I'm going to take this gold shade right here. It is a more on the lighter side of a gold, like a kind of like a sandy gold, with a flat shader brush. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid. I'm going to go back in with that same blending brush that I just used earlier, that same taupey shade, and just go right over the upper portion of that. Next I'm going to take this e.l.f. Bronner, bronzer in the shade Caramel Cabana. For some reason I really like using this on my eyes more than my face because it is such a warm kind of like orange undertone bronzer that it really adds more warmth to the eyes that I like rather than on my cheeks. So I'm going to take a delicate fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to pop this right above that transition shade. It's a weird technique, but I just love the outcome of doing this. I don't know why, it just adds a little something special to me. Next, I'm gonna mix these two shades, that peachish kind of off-white shade and then that more true vanilla shade with a smaller little blending brush here. And I'm gonna pop this under my brow bone. I'm also going to put this right into the inner corner of my eyes to help brighten that area up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and work on my eyebrows really quick. I do have a full tutorial on how I fill in my brows and kind of shape them and work with them. So I'm going to do that really quick and I'll come right back. Okay, and that's done for the eyes for now. I always like to do this. I do such weird combinations. So I like do my foundation, work on the upper lid a little bit, then do the rest of my face, work on the lower lash line, fix some stuff. I don't know, I just kind of like to go back and forth to see what else I want to do. So for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, the Dark Spot Corrector in the shade Fair Light. It is very light, but this is such a lightweight um, concealer that it blends seamlessly into your skin. Because I know that looks like craziness, but it blends perfectly into the skin. This looks so crazy, I know, but if you guys have tried this concealer, you know what I'm talking about. It's just so lightweight but full coverage at the same time, but it doesn't ever get like cakey or anything like that. So to blend everything in, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender and just kind of start patting it in.
girlfriend needs some bronzer, but first we have to set this face. So I'm first gonna use the Fit Me Pressed Powder by Maybelline and a Kabuki brush, and just kind of bounce that into my skin. And to set the under eye areas, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit with the shade Banana and Vanilla. You guys know the drill. First, I'm going to use my Real Techniques blush brush and the Milani Bake Blush and Bellissimo Bronze. This is more of a bronzer shade to me. Just going to bronze up the face. Okay, I feel a little bit better, but now you guys know I gotta chisel out those cheekbones. So I'm going to go back into the Anastasia Contour Kit with the shades. Java and Fawn, I believe they're called, and then this Sephora contour brush. And I'm gonna mix those two shades together, these, these two right here, and chisel out those cheekbones. So I'm gonna go right under my lip, and then under my nose, Okay, so for blush, I think I'm gonna use the Milani Bake Blush in Dulce Pink. I really like this blush, and I think it's gonna go really well with that pop of blue that we're gonna do. And it's just like a kind of mid-tone pink. Might as well highlight the face right now too. I'm gonna use this Tarte Aqua Lilies palette just because I really like the highlighter in here. But I also really like the City Color Spotlight highlight. But I'm gonna just use this shade right here. And my fan brush. Okay, so now that the face is pretty much completed, we can go back to the eyes and I'm sure I'll go back to the face and fix some more stuff as well. So I mentioned to you guys that I want to add a pop of color to this look and I think I'm going to go in with this. This is more of a greenish blue. If I hold it back here you can kind of tell the difference. And I might mix both of them. We'll see. I'm going to go in with this MAC 219 brush and just kind of start putting this on the lower lash line. really pigmented too. And I just want to deepen out the outer corner a little bit so I'm going to go in with the darkest shade in this palette. It's just like a true chocolate brown shade. That same pencil brush and I'm going to pop that more on the outer corner. So to tie line, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Pencil. I use this all the time. Let me know, you guys, what is your favorite um, black liner for your waterline? Because I have kind of really sensitive eyes, so a lot of them will irritate my eyes, but um, this one doesn't have the longest lasting power, so I am looking for a new one. But anyways, I'm just going to tight line this, so I'm going to put this, close my eyes, and try and get that on the upper waterline, lash line. This is really good if you have hooded eyes, like I kind of do. That way you're not putting liner on the actual lash line, taking away more lid space. This will actually give that same illusion and give you full, thick looking lashes without taking any lid space away. Okay, so now I'm going to just go ahead and curl my lashes. Then I'm going to go on with a Cota Mascara. This is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I really like this mascara. I actually got this in my Walmart beauty box and I had never even really heard, well I heard of this mascara, I just never really thought about picking it up. It's really good. I almost don't even want to put false lashes on. I kind of just want to build this up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just build up mascara today. You know when you find a mascara that you decide not to wear false lashes, that it's a good mascara. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the 
difference. I really like this mascara. It's a wet formula, but not super wet. I was gonna have this be a makeup tutorial, but I think this is more of like a get ready with me because I just cannot stop chatting. And the eyes are complete. I think this pop of color is more like a pop of green than it is just straight blue, but I really, really like it. I'm gonna go in with the Gerard Cosmetics in Buttercup lipstick. And then over top to add that pop of pink, I'm gonna do the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Meringue. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. All right, you guys, that concludes my makeup tutorial. Get ready with me. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, and some bonus days. And thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. If you guys want to check out my last video, go ahead and click the video playing. It is my top 10 favorite makeup brushes. You can also connect with me on social media up at the top right, Instagram and Twitter. As always, make sure to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, you guys.